guys today we're going to have a look at uh, pulse width modulation this is a control method that's very useful for controlling uh, inertial loads like motors and it is the method that we use to control the speed of our RC tractors uh, the, the reason uh, it works with motors is because we have an active phase here which is this higher uh, section of the pulse and an off phase and the weight of this on phase is how long the motor turns on for and because the motor is an inertial load it wants to resist change so when we pulse it on uh, it, we try to speed the motor up and we let it off it wants to slow down a little bit so if we give it enough pulses uh, fast enough we won't notice uh, the pulse coming on and off and the result will be that the motor will just do a constant speed if, if you go too slow uh, the, you'll see the motor speed up and then slow down speed up and slow down but if you choose a high enough frequency you, you should just get a motor that's spinning so or that is being changed so fast that you can't see the difference in speed as during the active and off phase so you will be able to control the speed of the motor but you won't see the pulses so you won't see the motor jumping forward you'll, you'll just see uh, speed uh, relative to your pulse width so uh, the, the things we need to understand is that a period is the length between say this rising uh, point here and this rising point here so that would be one complete period so an entire cycle and our duty cycle is the percentage the, that the pulse is active so this this case here so if we measure that if we measure that we have we have a nearly a 50% duty cycle uh, with this pulse so it's it's 44% so this uh, this active stage is 44% of this entire period and the duty cycle is what will determine uh, how fast our motor spins. So this, uh, I made this little uh, frequency generator here, so the, it's not exactly perfect. Our frequency and our duty cycle are going to um, are going to work together. Uh, so when I change the duty cycle, the frequency is going to change, which isn't ideal. But uh, I'll try and adjust that if I can. So now, if you can see, our pulse is getting smaller. So that's our duty cycle is decreasing there so there's a little bit of noise because uh, like I said it's not not perfect it was a very basic uh, chip I used to control this or to make this so we're getting a little bit of noise on the top of our pulse but it's not a big problem uh, and that was uh, reducing the duty cycle and we can obviously increase the duty cycle as well so now we have a uh, Okay, see our noise coming back in again. So there's about there's ninety percent duty cycle. So as you can see, the the active phase is most of the signal now. So that is uh, that is the basics of pulse width modulation. So I'll get a motor controller and we'll see can we demonstrate uh, the pulsing of the motor, uh, the undesirable pulsing, and how if we go to a high enough frequency we get around that. Okay so now we have a little motor hooked up here with a little bit of uh, red tape so you should see that spinning. Uh, I have the motor driver down here and uh, this is just connected to the probe so they're all connected uh, via a T-junction here so the pulse you see on the screen is the pulse that's being sent to the uh, motor driver. So I'll connect the battery now and you can see this pulse is going quite slow. We are at only 3.3 hertz okay so you can see you can hear the pulse so it's still going very slow so if I uh, increase the duty cycle oops wrong way so, Our pulse is getting wider here and our motor is getting faster. 
Our pulse is nearly uh, 100% here, and our motor is going probably near flat out. So, we increase the frequency as well. Oh, went too far. There we go, so there's a 100% duty cycle and our motor is going completely flat out. So, uh, so that's how pulse width modulation works. You just uh, provide a uh, provide a pulse that um, you provide a pulse that will start the motor spinning, and the faster your pulses arrive, the less noticeable they'll be. So at the lower frequencies, we could see or we could hear our uh, motor going pulsing. Uh, pretty slow. Then when we rode it up, the frequency of the motor was getting much much faster. So that's how pulse width modulation works. So now if we look at uh, an Arduino example, I've uploaded some code to this that just adjusts the speed of the uh, motor based on the position of this potentiometer. Uh, you can get this code on uh, a blog post related to this video and you'll find the link to that in the description so make sure and check that out if you want to try this out uh, I'm using the motor controller from uh, one of the other videos you've seen that uh, in a couple of videos now so uh, when we turn our potentiometer here we start to get a pulse and our motor starts to spin now the output of uh, the Arduino pins is usually around 490 megahertz no, sorry 490 hertz so uh, it seems to be reasonable enough for our application and it's going to be a constant frequency unlike the example that I've shown you earlier this this example uh, keeps the frequency constant but it changes the duty cycle and so there we're at 15% duty cycle that's around 50% duty cycle And there's a 100% duty cycle. So, uh, the range of this, uh, of this, um, analog right or this pulse width modulation generated by the uh, the Arduino is 255 points so you've 255 points between 0% uh, duty cycle and 100% duty cycle so we've quite a bit of speed control for our motors um, and this is how we do it in the RC tractor this is how we get our speed control so that's everything I have for today so uh, if you like that video give it a thumbs up and uh, if you're new to the channel uh, be sure and subscribe I have lots of different uh, videos about uh, different aspects of making RC tractors so make sure and uh, uh, subscribe so you can keep up to date and if you have any questions uh, either post them below or in the forum and I'll do my best to answer the questions if I can and if you have any suggestions for videos that you would like to see uh, let me know in the comments and I'll try and uh, do them if I can. Uh, that's everything, so thanks very much for watching.